or call 888-9-TCM-SHOP. Hey there, everybody. Thanks for joining us on TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. During much of the 1960s, Doris Day was the number one actress in the country. If Doris Day was in a movie, theater owners could count on a packed house, show after show, night after night. Why was Doris Day so popular? You'll find out, or most likely be reminded why, over the next couple of hours. Because up next, we've got Day starring opposite the late, great James Garner in the 1963 comedy, The Thrill of It All. Day and Garner play a husband and wife. He's a doctor, she's a stay-at-home mom raising their two adorable kids. Life for them is grand. And then, out of the blue one day, Doris Day is selected to become a TV spokeswoman, and their orderly, comfortable life is suddenly turned upside down by the power of television. Certainly the two men who wrote the thrill of it all knew a good bit about the power of television. Carl Reiner wrote the screenplay based on a story he developed with Larry Gelbart. Both men were pioneers of TV's golden age. They spent much of the 1950s writing comedy sketches for Sid Caesar on his phenomenally popular Your Show of Shows. Reiner then went on to create, write, and occasionally star in The Dick Van Dyke Show. Gelbart created and wrote the long-running TV series M.A.S.H. So when it came to successfully lampooning the world of TV, these guys were clearly writing what they knew. And to stack the odds even more in their favor, they had charming, affable, and handsome James Garner playing opposite the nation's top box office actress, Doris Day. From director Norman Jewison, and also featuring Arlene Francis, Zazu Pitts, and making a quick cameo, Carl Reiner himself. Here's the thrill of it all. 